Hey, Chad Imhoff here, EFT guy. Want to talk about a few points from our group today, man. I'm always so privileged to sit with uh, supervisees and kind of hear their stories and their take on things. And so I just want to say, man, I, I feel honored to get to do this every week and share some thoughts with you and get to get feedback and all that, man. But we had a conversation and, and it started with a question that said, man, I'm not sure where to go with this client. And so I was like, well, what, what's our target? What's our goal? What, what are their stated issues or things they're working on in therapy? And so we started to develop like why we can't find a target or why therapy sometimes seems so confusing. And I think it's really um, because we don't know where we're going and clients want us to solve unsolvable things that are external to them. Like in the world, they want things to be different or better. And so for me, I'm like, my theory of change says I need to go help them have new experiences and new ways to process through some things. To me, the EFT Tango is a really nice way to do that. It kind of organizes it, it, it makes sense, and I have a very practical step-by-step -step process. But really to get into the Tango, I'm gonna have to do some things before I even start that. So to me, I'm like, I have to do a quick check-in with clients, kind of maintain a bit of alliance, Right? And I'm saying, hey, how you doing? How are things going today? What's happening for you? Anything new, big events in your life? And then I'm diving right into a target, a goal, some trigger. I'm looking for something that I can get an experience online for my clients. I want them to have a felt sense of something as we go through this. And so I'm going, okay, is there a spot that hurts this week? Is there a thing that came up? Is it the cycle or is it my own process that I, if I'm working with an individual that I mess up and do that thing I don't wanna do? Those are the things I'm after. I'm like, I want to get into that process as quickly as I can so that I can develop their experience. That's step two of the tango. I wanna pull that apart, right? Now, as soon as I get to a target goal trigger, right, I am gonna be able to start my work. That's where the EFT tango starts. It's like, can I get in their present experience? Can I align with them in this moment and their experience? So that's where the work starts. The very next predictable thing is, I am gonna find a block. They're gonna show me why they haven't been able to process whatever is happening in the session. The, the point, the trigger, the goal is gonna be have a block. It's gonna have some impediment to being solved. And so I'm gonna to try to find that spot, look at it, organize it, make sense of it. And then once I've got a block, once something has shown up and I've, I know there's a target and I'm trying to work towards it, I'm trying to take all these different angles, right? Then I can start to go, okay, there are lots of nuances. There are lots of uh, interventions and ways to deal with stuck places. And so that's where it gets so helpful for us to have all this EFT training, have all these uh, different interventions and thoughts and ideas about how we uh, conceptualize people, but I've got to have the goal or the target in mind first, and I've got to have a direction or a belief about what I think about change in people. And so mine is informed by EFT Tango, it's informed by attachment theory, it's informed by all these things, but I'll never do any of that if I don't have a target and go after it. So man, y'all, we get better together. Thanks so much for checking these videos out. I really appreciate it. And again, most of this is gonna be on YouTube now. I think my Facebook page has done some crazy things, but we're trying to get that back. But again, so appreciate you checking this out. Hope to see you again real soon. Have a great week and go get focused.